today we are here in beautiful Mainz in Germany in the Rheingau. This is a famous dome and for people they don't know it, uh, in Mainz was Gutenberg and without him no book printing and so on. But Mainz is also famous here in the whole wine region uh, for great restaurants and uh, we have here Johann Lafer today from the Stromburg uh, who will go with us uh, to the farmers market here and uh, shop for his restaurant the Val de Or in Stromburg. So come with me and uh, check out what they have here but there's only good food or bad food and here is actually really good food. This is all organic and this is just great. Just come. So I traveled around the globe basically, I shot tons of movies, 33 movies in various countries worldwide and I always, I'm a big foodie, I'm always checking out what's the best food in town, you know from the tasting room in, in Cape Town, uh, French Rock to uh, John George in New York and so on. And, um, a lot of restaurants are big disappointments also and this is here like my personal collection and we want to travel around the globe basically and present the best restaurants in the world to you. So and we show how they cook, where they're coming from, what they're doing and what the whole concept of that restaurant is. And here's the Stromburg um, in the Hunsrück in Germany is a classic and by accident Jürgen Lafer is also the most prominent German chef because he's in a lot of TV shows and so on. But I felt like for the first episode this is a very good choice. He speaks perfectly English, he worked around the world, he worked in Paris uh, before and so on. And here is his flagship, his Michelin star. Uh, restaurant, uh, the Stromburg. Yeah, so we, we are where? What is this? This is our herb garden. I'm producing a lot of different herbs, organic herbs, and here they're growing for our guests, for show them what we are producing. And you use this actually in the kitchen also? Yeah, of course. Every Sour amphor, oregano. Yeah, every day we use it for the kitchen. This is estragon here. You can see here, this is a perfect estragon. Perfect taste. taste. Oh yeah. So, mm. and then you can cook perfect fresh. You go to the garden, take the herbs and go in the kitchen and finish your dish. Excellent. This is a kitchen. This is a German fish matches. This is a Very kind of salty. salty fish, yes. And this will be now a nice creation with, with the main of the matches and some and fresh things together. Okay, so let's, uh, let's show what uh, you use and what it, sure. what's all about. This is now cucumber and red. And this is apples. This is small apples. Small apples, you know, small apples. I mean, the restaurant is open for lunch and dinner. Then they start high 30, 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock, yeah. And uh, so food comes in basically six, 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 six thirty every morning. We ordered everything every morning. Everything comes fresh every morning. So we just order for for how we have a reservation and guests so many guests we need. Then we, we order the, all the food ingredients. So and this so is this is the the tartar from the matches. We put it here in a cone like a spring roll. So this is a sour cream with fresh herbs from our herb garden. And there's a little spice. And what is this? This is paprika. 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 Okay. You see, everything must be very clear and fine. And this is also some honey with dill. Honey cream with dill. Honey cream. Let's taste it now. Honey. Honey cream with dill. In a lot of kitchens, I see bottles with the with the alu paper around. Alu paper. For what is that? Why is this that? Is, uh, because it's so messy, or is no, it? No, no, no. We have here a colorful oil. I put it here. We have chive oil. Okay. We we have oil blended in a in a blender with um, bring it to boil one time yeah. and then um, it stays cool down on fresh. ice and what? then keeps the color. The color. The color. Ah, if it uh, must be dark. I have it here. Yeah. I make it uh, every two days fresh, and if I have on um, the sun or on the light, it's go gray in one hour. Ah, okay. Now I know why is it. Roast cauliflower, roasted cauliflower. 
So like that pink setter thing is like a must. You need it for I fine think dining. You need basically. this in every kitchen. Yeah. Even okay. if I make lentil soup at home, I should. Oh. No, but 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 in every kitchen where. Yeah, 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 yeah. So no, this is the sturgeon. Sturgeon. So I put yeah. some garlic on top. Some chive oil. And the waiter in the restaurant comes around. Yeah. Comes around and he puts puts it all. Around. So. Wow, I'm a little. So what is that? This is uh, uh, spinach. This is vegetable with uh, saffron. Uh, saffron? Okay. Yeah. This is not lamb. This is no wheel. 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 I thought yeah. we get lamb. No, but it wheel. was no, no. maybe a, a mistake. mistake. So, but it's veal. So it's cooked very, very, very soft. So this was in the vacuum, in the bath, or what, no, what no, happened no, no, to the meat? No, no, this is traditional pan fried, and yeah. then in the oven, and then give it until uh, 45, 48 degrees. We, uh, we have a scale, we make it, and then uh, um, we go How in, long? Uh, until, it's, until it's finished, 12 to 15 minutes. Ah, okay. It's always uh, uh, different. Yeah. So first on the uh, in the pan a little high heat and then yes. boom in the oven. Okay. The saffron is just bringing a different taste to the to a normal uh, veal veal dish. Chili. And uh, the combination is just working. Right. I have a lot of times the feeling in some restaurants like it looks fancy, but it, but it, it, it doesn't. Tastes so good. Yes. And this was what I said in the in the in a, a Napa Valley in the uh, uh, French Laundry. I had that there were like from from twelve courses were like three four courses that were just off. Where you think like it doesn't taste good if I have it together in the mouth, basically, right? So some sorbets with some fish and it's stuff like, together. It's like it, the blade is like painting, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so and it is. Um, I mean. I said it in the in the break when we waited for the camera, like Bocuse, it just tastes all good what you eat there. But it's way too much food you get there. Yeah, in, but it's in a normal, this is normal real French French style of cooking. Yeah. Perfect cooking, perfect taste, perfect product, Absolutely. perfect. perfect everything cooking. was perfect. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I see you next time with uh, a different restaurant. And I hope I see you very soon in Germany. Thank you so much for watching us and all good luck for you. Bye -bye. Absolutely.